Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn with Runa. Today's topic is to understand the difference between defect and defective. अगर आपको मेरा ये वीडियो हिंदी में देखना हो तो नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिए गए लिंक पे क्लिक करिए लेट इज स्टार्ट द ट्रेनिंग बींग अ सप्लाई इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री फॉर एनी प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस वी आर सपोज टू मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्वालिटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फेलियर टू मीट रिक्वायरमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्वालिटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक आर यूजली डिस्क्राइब इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिफेक्ट्स और डिफेक्टिव विच मीन्स Something is wrong with it. Either it doesn't work like it is supposed to, or it doesn't look like it is supposed to. Means the customer who pays money will not be happy, but still there are two conditions: either they are acceptable or they must be scrapped. Here are the basic differences between the two. Firstly, if we look at the definition of the defect. it is a single quality characteristic that does not meet customer requirements or specification whereas defective is a complete unit of product that does not meet customer requirements or specification secondly based on the uses defect does not necessarily mean that the product or service cannot be used whereas a defective is considered completely unacceptable for use again based on the analytic one defect is sufficient to create defective product it all depends on the severity of defect which means if defect is severe then product can be considered defective for example if a surface mount component is not soldered which is affecting the functional functionality then this single defect is sufficient to create defective product whereas a single defective product can have one or million defects for example a product with following defects like 100 different scratches 20 different surface mount components not soldered properly and incorrect text on level at four different places can be considered as defective next on the basis of acceptable limit defect can be accepted by customer depending upon how severe it is for example slight typing error in a book typing error is a defect but still it is accepted by customer whereas defective must always be scrapped as it is not sellable to customer which means a product is not defective unless the defects prevent the product from functioning if product is not usable it is considered defect next in six sigma approach the matrix defect per unit dpu and defect per million opportunities dpmo are used to measure the performance of a process it should be noted that it measures the number of defect and not the defectives whereas the matrix percentage defective ppm that is parts per million ppb that is parts per billion and ppt that is part, parts per trillion and so on are also used to measure the performance of a process it should be noted that it measures the number of defective part not the defects next the term non conformity is sometimes used to signify a defect whereas the term non conforming is sometimes used to signify a defective let us understand all this with the help of example consider a mechanical part gear there are three defects poor surface finish inaccurate weight and inner diameter wrong these three defects are leading to form one defective item that is gear which means three defects in one defective item again let us understand with second example consider a human being who is not feeling well as he is not well it is something it is something similar to defective now if we ask why this why this illness happen this is because of fever or because of stomach pain or because of headache all this illness are defect at least if one appears then that person will not be feeling good and if all the diseases have come then the same person will be suffering hence all the illness or symptoms are defects and each one of these are severe as explained earlier defects can be many on acceptable product but defective product can never be accepted or should never be given to customer it should be scrapped for this let us consider an example of pizza 
an undercooked pizza cannot be consumed by customer hence it should be scrapped or reworked here undercooked pizza is a single defect but with high severity hence undercooked pizza falls under the category defective whereas other defects like uneven brown fries underweight pizza and too much ice in a drink have flaw or defect but it can still be sold and customers can consume them hence these defects are not severe they do not need to be scrapped so they are not defective now it's recap time a product can have multiple defects or imperfections but it will not be considered defective unless the defect is very severe or it prevents the product from functioning if a product cannot be used it is considered as defective defect is non conformity which is not complying with the specification while defective is the non conformance defects can be acceptable by customer based on the severity hence it is sellable but defective should never be given to customer hence learning from this is that defects are to be eliminated without eliminating them defectives cannot be eliminated if you have any question feel free to ask them in comment section please do like and subscribe my videos and do share it with your colleagues thank you